Hi, hello. This is Dr. Prasad Patela. Uh, continuing my uh, classes, or I came back uh, to this same topic, biology for engineers, because uh, my study materials many have uh, appreciated me for the effort. So still, uh, the biology concept and engineering concept when they connect, many students find or even faculties find it uh, difficult because they are not. Uh, expertized in this uh, even even i am not also expertized but tried my level best to, to collect some of the materials and because of my personal interest on this topic very much useful uh, for all the engineers because they are going one step ahead uh, than our earlier uh, um, job opportunities they are working on multiple uh, tasks multiple uh, companies are also working on multiple tasks therefore Experts are required who know even at least the basics of uh, some of the biology concepts which they can connect it to the engineering engineering concept. Okay, so that's that's why this particular subject was introduced uh, to the uh, syllabus our curriculum. Okay, so uh, continuing my class uh, with explaining the possible uh, answers. With the possible questions, the questions also I only framed, the answers also I only, I'm only giving accordingly, possible, possible possibilities, so that uh, it, it is easy for everyone uh, to, to go through it. And also be aware of uh, some other fraudulents who takes my uh, notes and uh, simply change the watermark from uh, Prasad P, Dr. Prasad P, so changing the watermark as their own uh, uh, separate name and they are publishing it uh, saying that it is free of cost I am also giving it free of cost only so many few of them they are uh, accepting my work uh, the effort and uh, giving some uh, some for that okay so uh, please be uh, aware of uh, such uh, websites or uh, such uh, youtube channels uh, which are uh, doing such things which are not ethical they can do it, but they, they should inform and do it will be very useful for them also. Okay, so answers. Question number one, module one. Explain the structure and classification of carbohydrates, focusing on monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. Discuss their role in biological system and provide examples of each. Okay, so already the details are given in my notes. So, the notes are also available in my YouTube channel. Links are provided there. Okay, so they are carbohydrates are they are the organic compounds which are very much useful. They are there in our body. We are always needs carbohydrates. And it is an important source of energy for the living organism, which com consists of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen with uh, a, a more general formula of cn h2 o n okay but still uh, there, there are no water free water molecule as i gave though we write h2 o don't think that it is a free water molecule it is generally it is formulated like that uh, cn h2 o n okay so the structure actually the three dimensional structure and all uh, is not required i feel for this particular uh, syllabus therefore uh, I can say they they are different type of uh, carbohydrates like monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides based on the structure only. Okay, if it is a simple uh, carbohydrate structure, we call it as a monosaccharide, uh, which is the simplest of a carbohydrate based on the considering the structural uh, uh, way it is arranged. Example is glucose and fructose which are easily soluble in water and serve as the primary source of energy for the body. So this is the answer like uh, uh, the structure, classification carbohydrate, focusing on monosaccharide, explaining the role in biological system and examples. Okay. So second one that is disaccharides. Disaccharides means di means two. So two monosaccharides combined structure. Examples sucrose, lactose, maltose, etc are commonly found in sugars and uh, broken down into monosaccharide during digestion means when we eat when it get digested in our stomach it is converted into again to glucose or sucrose third one that is polysaccharides polysaccharides uh, it is a chain of long okay carbohydrates a long chain we call it as polymers uh, they are monosaccharides linked together 
okay so what is their role they storage they serve as the storage molecule or molecule for energy such as glycogen glycogen in animals and starch in plants and also provide structure and support such as cellulose in plant cell walls okay so in addition to their role as energy source carbohydrates also play important role in cellular process such as cellular signaling recognition and in regulating gene expression so that is general not for polysaccharide for carbohydrate only okay so that is the answer for the question number 1 possible answer for the question number 1 covering the uh, course of compound and the question is framed such that it uh, shows the revised the bloom's taxon and level 3 now uh, question number 2 discuss the industrial and uh, industrial applications of carbohydrates in various industries such as uh, food and beverage pharmaceutical cosmetic biotechnology and research so two specific uh, questions asked asked because i have my notes it can be simply asked as a discuss the industry application of carbohydrates in various industries it can be so various industries confusion will come that's why mentioned uh, which are the industries it uses provide the specific examples of how carbohydrates are used in each industry okay so it covers co1 as well as co3 with a uh, revised bloom's taxonomy level of 3 now the possible answer again uh, since is the question based on uh, carbohydrate we have to simply say what are carbohydrates okay they are composed carbohydrates are class of organic compounds uh, which plays a crucial role in biology important source of energy in living system consists of carbon oxygen hydrogen with the general formula cnh2o yeah so it is it's because if uh, same similar type of questions what are carbohydrates already there as one a then one b if it is asked then no need to answer this again one once again okay otherwise better to write what is carbohydrate once in a sentence one or two sentence then continue the question what are the uh, the industrial applications and examples okay so industrial applications uh, carbohydrates are wide range of applications in industries like food and beverage which is used as a sweetener and stabilizer in uh, food and beverage product it is also used as energy source in sports drink as well as energy bars energy bars means that we eat which is many such energy bars are available in market so since it is there in market we are using it engineers also eat it so why we should not know what are what is that what is the content in that that is carbohydrate okay now the pharmaceutical it is used as an excipient in pharmaceutical formulations improve the stability solubility and bioavailability of drugs it is used as a source of energy in uh, medical uh, nutrition products cosmetics uh, it is used as moisturizers shampoos and uh, conditioners to provide uh, hydration and uh, improve skin and hair health in biotechnology, it is used in production of biodegradable plastics, biofuels, and other renewable energy sources. As a research tool, it is used in uh, immunology, virology, cellular biology, and as a ligand in protein carbohydrate interactions, and as a probe to study cellular signaling pathways. Okay, so um, the research field, uh, many such devices will be formed to form a device. People should know what is the requirement of that. Just so you can say. These are the terms which are uh, you have to at least you should uh, know these are the terms of biology they are there. Okay, now question number three uh, explain the construction, proteins, and importance of cellulose based water filters. Okay, so the construction properties, importance, advantages, and limitations. Okay, it's a simple question actually. Uh, write a note on construction properties, importance. Uh, advantages and limitations but to reach to a level three question questions framed in this way okay now answer to that uh, cellulose based water filters are made from cellulose it's a carbohydrate polymer found in plant cell walls the simple sentence to as a introduction to this question answer answer introduction to this now construction a general construction only given not to uh, any particular uh, uh, water filter manufacturing companies construct this is in general we everybody has to follow this if you are constructing a, a water filter that means say material selection you have to choose anyone 
paper, cotton, wood, fiber, or any one uh, cellulose material. Then you have to prepare the cellulose into remove the impurities and drying. That is cellulose preparation. Layer uh, layer formation uh, either by stacking uh, or compacting it using heat and pressure. Stacking is keeping one over the other. Okay, so that is called as stacking by using a pressing or heating uh, making it uh, proper to sit together to not separate okay then filter medium attra attachment a uh, medium is required uh, a support is required for these layers that is the filter medium attachment chemical treatment then it is done uh, some treatment chemically to make it uh, more hydrophilic uh, hydrophilic means water loving it water has to go through that it should attract water it should not repel water Okay, it should wet, water should wet it, that uh, you have to make it, if it is not uh, hydrophilic, it has to be done, chemical treatment has to be done to make it hydrophilic and uh, even adding some uh, antimicrobial agent because while filtering the water, the microbes has to die, therefore antimicrobial agents are need to be attached there, therefore this chemical treatment is done. Then uh, the assembly, uh, house, uh, housing the assembly is made into a compact box so that uh, it looks attractive then uh, testing is also done okay so that is about uh, a simple uh, construction of cellulose based water filters means we used we use many such uh, cellulose who are used water filters even of our engineering colleges uh, to take the water for even the uh, faculties even students uh, everybody takes water from these those water filters so some biology is there right behind that uh, that is the cellulose based many of them are cellulose based water so I hope that this is the importance of this particular uh, subject uh, for uh, engineering uh, students. Okay, so properties of cellulose based water filters. Uh, some of the important properties are they are highly porous, porous uh, means uh, the material itself is porous in nature. Porous means holes are there such a way that water can go through that, penetrate through that uh, even by filtering. Uh, okay, so highly porosity. It is biodegradable. It will not create any harm to the environment as such. It is biodegradable. It will be degraded, break down to simple uh, things, and it will be a part of the uh, environment, not uh, as a against that environment. It is a part of the environment. Okay, so it is very cost effective also. Made from uh, renewable resources, these filters. Uh, good mechanical strength is there for comparatively good mechanical strength is there. I cannot say it's better than steel and that. It has got a good mechanical strength so that it can be used in uh, water filter application. It has got a uh, better chemical resistance also. Uh, large surface area is there on the cellulose. Surface area means many uh, area is used so that uh, uh, the effectiveness is more. That is what I mean by large surface area is there. Now the importance, uh, it provides a safe and clean water. It promotes uh, uh, sustainability in uh, water treatment process uh, it is more affordable than uh, other uh, synthetic polymer filters which are very costly uh, it has got its own versatility it can be made in different sizes it can be made in different shapes and it, it will fit it to a specific need and it is an alternative to the synthetic filters advantages they are environmentally friendly they are cost effective high porous versatile good mechanical strength chemical resistance large surface area it is the same thing with this property Limitations like they have very low resistance or high temperature, low filtration efficiency for certain contaminants. Uh, lifespan is limited, uh, it difficult to sterilize, uh, may clog easily, therefore the, uh, it, 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 it may, the, the particle, dust particle will uh, deposit and it will clog easily and may even affect the water taste because uh, we, <laughs> it is a cellulose. Cellulose, different uh, cellulose has got its own uh, taste also if it is not properly chemically treated. See, pro um, too much chemically treated means it loses its property also. Therefore, the water will have some taste. So, it's better to use uh, such cellulose material which are more Ayurvedic. Okay, so uh, since it is a plant based, then Ayurveda comes there. So, which is more Ayurvedic means medicinal use. Material which are having better uh, medicinal use, uh, such materials, uh, if it is used. Uh, Taste will be difficult, but uh, we can uh, get, we'll get some uh, good health. Okay, so continuing. Fourth question, discuss the properties, uh, engineering applications and environmental impact of PHA 
and PLA as bioplastic. Explore their usage in packaging, medical devices, textile, agriculture, consumer goods, automobile parts, electronic devices, aerospace, sporting goods, and construction. Okay, so the question itself I said these are the things which I expected, which I expected. Or simply we can use explore their uh, applications in uh, explore their uh, industrial applications. So confusion will come which has to write. So among these uh, they can choose or uh, can ask the question explore their use in uh, uh, in the engineering uh, applications. Then in the answer schema we have to specify all these things and uh, have to mention which and all they are supposed to do or how many at, at least how many the students has to answer. So accordingly, a person can, a teacher can modify this question. I made it as such, kept it as such because uh, to avoid the confusion. A PHA as a bioplastic, uh, they are biodegradable, they are biocompatible. Polyesters are produced by the microorganism, the uh, chemical structure and all given in my previous note, uh, the notes which are available for everyone that can get it. Now it is there throughout. Uh, Throughout Karnataka, my notes are getting circulated. Many are misusing it also, that also I should say. Okay, so you can check it out. Uh, the details are also there. Here, this is particularly question answering. Uh, therefore, I am limiting it uh, because it is not for the biology experts. It is for the engineers uh, uh, which, may, which, which are never studied biology. Not never studied it. Till their 10th, they have to study biology. But they are not studied biology afterwards. Uh, uh, 10 plus 1, 10 plus 2, or first PUC, second PUC students will not be studied uh, when they come to engineering. Therefore, for such students, uh, those chemical uh, structures uh, and all will be a very complicated one. Therefore, here question answer type I made it very simple. Uh, question and its answer is given. Okay, so properties uh, will be mentioning uh, environmental impact. Uh, so, the last topic I took the uh, first uh, the environmental impact uh, PHA. It is made from the renewable sources the, uh, such as sugar, cornstarch. Therefore, it is con considered to be an environmentally friendly alternative to the traditional petroleum based plastic. Now, the properties like they are uh, having biodegradability, it will uh, degrade, they are biocompatible, it can be used with uh, biological system, human system, human can use it. It will not create any harm to that uh, biological system. Therefore, they are biocompatible. It has similar uh, mechanical properties to traditional petroleum based plastics. It has good processing, can be processed using conventional plastic processing techniques such as induction molding, blow molding and uh, extrusion. Now some of the engineering applications which are mentioned uh, here, packaging medical devices one by one mentioned here. Okay, so packaging uh, it is used as food, used in food containers, beverage cups uh, and uh, uh, calm shell containers, uh, medical devices as sutures, implants, uh, drug delivery systems, uh, textiles, uh, the textile industries like construction industry and the furniture industry, it is used. Agricultural multifilms, uh, that is to avoid uh, or reduce the soil erosion and uh, to absorb more moisture. Then uh, consumer goods uh, such as toys, uh, phone cases, uh, water bottles. Um, can be made with that. Um, automotive parts such as uh, air ducts, uh, headlamp covers, uh, electronic devices such as uh, smartphones and laptops. Uh, that uh, uh, only the body part, uh, not the electronic part as such. Okay, aerospace uh, such as insulation and cable management, uh, sporting uh, goods uh, which are uh, golf, tees uh, and uh, fishing lures. Uh, Construction, biode biodegradable insulation, and uh, soundproofing materials are used for that. Now, PLA as a bioplastic, um, polylactic acid, it is a biodegradable, it is there, okay. okay. So, PLA, one minute, okay. Somewhere I pressed it, therefore, let's continue recording. Huh? Okay, so PLA as bioplastic, it is used, uh, uh, from, it is made from cornstarch, sugar cane or other natural resources. It is commonly used as the alternative to traditional petroleum based uh, uh, products. One minute again, somewhere I get instructed. Oh, some technical glitches, continue. Uh, I was not able to see that. Uh, which is displayed okay 
okay so polylactase is uh, it is used uh, in uh, biodegradable and bio based uh, plastic made from cornstarch sugar cane and other natural resources environmental impact is to say it is important to note that pla is a biodegradable in industrial composting uh, uh, facilities but not as such speedy in the normal environment if industrial that uh, degrading uh, uh, situation or, or their uh, uh, facilities uh, it will degrade easily but uh, environment it takes a little bit uh, more time uh, not as such other plastics uh, it will dissolve slowly it will degrade slowly but takes time so it has got some environmental impact properties uh, of uh, pla it is biodegradable takes time uh, renewable it can be made uh, many it can it, uh, renewable resource uh, also it is very clear and transparent uh, appearance physical appearance it is uh, heat resistant up to 60 degrees celsius they are biocompatible they have good stiffness and strength uh, printability it can be printed using a normal uh, 3d printing uh, technique engineering applications like automotive parts uh, air ducts and uh, headlamp covers electronic devices smartphones and uh, uh, laptops aerospace such as installation and cable management sports goods golf tees and fishing lures, construction, uh, insulation and sanitation material, agricultural, seed trays and greenhouse fillings, medical equipment such as diagnostic equipment and hospital beds. Question number 5. Explain the structures and uh, types of nucleic acid focusing on DNA and RNA. Discuss their role in uh, storing, the, uh, storing and uh, transferring genetic information in living organisms. Uh, nucleic acid are uh, biopolymers the question it is about uh, uh, nucleic acid types of nucleic acid what are nucleic acid nucleic acids are they are playing very crucial role in uh, storage and uh, transfer of uh, genetic information in all living organisms that everyone should know that uh, it is nucleic acid there are two types of uh, dfc ribonucleic acid and uh, ribonucleic acid D DX ribo dna and rna dna is a uh, material which carries the instruction of development functioning production in all living organisms so whatever the new the growth uh, and to the next generation our kids why they are behaving as we behave or why our um, characters are there in that because it is a dna is transferred it is used as a genetic material a small dna can be sufficient when it start grows it gives the same uh, similar behavior and uh, the memory which is there in our memory which will be transferred to that also therefore the kid has to only have to improve further already our knowledge it is there okay mm, where i reached okay dna double standard helix structure composed of nucleotides which consists of uh, deoxyribose sugar a phosphate group is there nitrogenous base is there ribonucleic acid uh, mm, it is used to build proteins uh, it, RNA is a single standard molecule composed of nucleotides uh, consist of uh, sugar ribose. Okay, so both DNA and RNA play essential role in uh, functioning of uh, cells and uh, organisms and uh, these structures and interactions with other molecules are the basis for many biological processes such as replication, transcription and uh, translation. Question number six. So discuss the importance and potential applications of uh, DNA vaccines using rabies as an example. Uh, explain how dna vaccines are now why we engineers we need to study uh, about dna rna because dna it is mainly used in uh, vaccine dna vaccines are used the rabies treatment it is used you know rabies treatment uh, something related engineering work uh, based on that if an engineer want to work he should know or he or she should know what is what is exactly dna roughly at least dna and what are the meaning of the vaccine how the vaccines are made or how it is working all those concepts they have to that time they need to google search or youtube search so better in the syllabus itself if it is given they will get a rough idea regarding that therefore it will be easy for them to search and find the exact answer which they are searching okay so dna vaccine is type of vaccine which uses piece of viral bacterial dna to stimulate and uh, immune response against the pathogen means uh, we have to catch hold that uh, virus or bacteria which is creating the issue 
catch the virus uh, take a strand of dna from that uh, then put it into to a separate uh, uh, system where uh, it, uh, it has got a normal uh, resisting uh, system so that resistance means it will the body is generating a uh, immune response that means it generate uh, its own uh, antigens against that so those antigens are actually the vaccines okay so the vaccine work by introducing the pathogen dna into the body where it takes up uh, by cell and used to produce viral or bacterial proteins these proteins are then displayed onto the surface of the cell which uh, triggers an immune response and the production of antibodies against the pathogen okay so that only explained here important sir dna uh, yeah, dna vaccine for rabies the type of vaccine that gives us piece of rabies efficiency it has got a very good efficiency in uh, preventing the rabies in killing the viruses or rabies creating uh, that the name with the name rabies it is long lasting protection uh, once it is used uh, it, it works for uh, for for long last ease of administration is very easy it can be injected or even uh, it can be taken orally ease of administration uh, cost effectiveness is there compared to other vaccines reduce the risk of side effects now dear discuss about rna vaccine and its application mainly considering the covid 19 because now we are in the 2023 but during 2009 19 this covid has created impacted many issues because of that only i started my youtube channel also now it is running as a mad okay with your support and well wishes okay so rna vaccines uh, is there a type of vaccine which uses genetic material from pathogen in the form of rna it stimulates an immune response against this uh, the disease the vaccine it works by introducing the pathogen's rna into the body where it is taken up by the cells produce viral bacterial proteins these proteins uh, displayed on the surface of uh, living cell which triggers immune response and produces the required antibodies same type of how dna vaccines are formed rna vaccines also formed in the same way only we have to take only the rna strand one single strand dna means a double strand okay now mm, that rna strand which is taken from the uh, one which uh, causes the covid covid sars covid uh, uh virus from that uh, the rna is taken and uh, formed okay so rna vaccine for covid 19 then it is taken from the sars covid uh, 2 virus rna vaccines have emerged as their promising tool for preventing the spread of covid 19 covid 19 almost uh, controlled data uh, rna vaccines are uh, mainly used with, uh, in, uh, by most of the companies even which are the companies are that every details was as given in my note uh, with the watermark dr prasad ji you consider okay so this is the watermark which i am saying they originally written dr prasad ji like that it dr prasad ji like that it is written there no? that is actually consolidation is done by me and somebody else is also publishing the same thing as such i changing the watermark so some technical glitches I was trying to read my notes but my note somewhere it went okay continuing question number 8 i explain the working principle of dna fingerprinting of uh, for forensic application discuss the steps involved including uh, sample collection and dna amplification gel electrophoresis dna analysis and dna comparison question i uh, given all these steps uh, involved uh, these steps which are the steps used uh, question can be framed uh, without that uh, discuss the steps involved we will can stop but i have mentioned that it has got sample collection amplification is there gel electrophoresis is there uh, analysis is there comparison is there that is only the difference of my question uh, you can simply make it as explain the working principle of dna fingerprinting for forensic application discuss the steps involved highlight the significance of uh, dna fingerprinting that there is enough question i mentioned clearly mentioned what are the steps so question can be framed in a 
okay i made it uh, to rbt level uh, 3 it, it covers uh, co1 cos of 1 and cos of 3 also okay Okay, continuing the forensic DNA fingerprinting, some technical research will continue. I hope that uh, the notes is clearly visible. Okay, so forensic DNA fingerprinting, it, it is also DNA profiling or genetic uh, fingerprinting. A technique it is used in forensic science to identify an uh, individual based on their unique DNA profile. The process involves analyzing uh, specific regions of an individual's DNA called uh, markers, which can vary from person to person. Okay, now working uh, sample collection, how forensic application uh, this particular fingerprinting is done, sample collection, some uh, biological samples such as blood, semen or hair, it is then purified and uh, processed to isolate uh, DNA and amplification is done uh, called uh, PCR, so PCR that word which is you might have heard many times, so PCR test, rapid PCR, are, uh, RP, RT PCR, rapid test uh, PCR. Okay, PCR means polymerase chain reaction. Okay, RT PCR you heard uh, during the COVID 19 time uh, because to check whether COVID is attacked or the virus is there in our body or not, we supposed to give the RT PCR. The nurse will come and put that uh, long uh, to our nose uh, sample from our uh, throat uh, as well as in the nose samples are taken. It is for doing. RT-PCR and we got the message that RT-PCR is positive. <laughs> no, positive. That time we hate that positive word. We always used to like the negative. RT-PCR is negative. We are very happy. If positive comes means uh, we, we die with the heart attack, not with the COVID-19. Because of heart attack, many died by the fear, tension, not because of the virus attack. Okay, now DNA amplification is done, uh, DNA analysis is done, then DNA comparison is done. Now the DNA comparison, uh, it is obtained from the biological sample compared to the DNA profiles of other individuals such as suspects or victims to determine if there is a match. It is typically uh, comparison done manually by the forensic uh, analyst. Even uh, AI can also be used. Significance. Uh, the DNA profile consists of a series of bands on gels which prevent the specific DNA fragments. The bands are compared to those from a controlled sample such as blood or saliva from a suspect or victim to see if there is a match. If there is a match, it is considered as a strong evidence that the biological sample came from that particular individual. Uh, forensic DNA um, fingerprinting becomes a critical tool in criminal investigation, uh, allowing the investigators to link individuals to crime scene and to exonerate innocent uh, individuals who may have been wrongly accused. It has also been used to identify victims for natural uh, disasters and mass uh, casualties and to resolve paternity disputes. That's about for DNA forensic. So this is much about the uh, first video, a long video it is. Uh, the next uh, parts I uh, will be explaining in uh, part 2. Okay. Okay, I will not be giving this study material. I uh, will not be publishing this study material anywhere. Those who want, uh, they have to go through this uh, video only. You can note down that uh, uh, notes as such. Okay. Or uh, <coughs> Only that is the possibility or you refer my notes which are already circulated uh, throughout uh, wherever possible. That note if you want you can ask, I can uh, provide it. The link is always uh, also given in, uh, in the respective uh, uh, class videos. Then, then what? Thank you for uh, viewing my channel, my classes on uh, my YouTube channel, my intuition. Uh, the same note is used in some other YouTube channel also. So, um, thank you for uh, supporting me. Uh, once again, uh, come, I thank all one of all and uh, I will continue to the next video.
a separate video or class video too of module 1 thank you